Hello everyone, I am SCJ, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Menace Cap. In the last episode, we made it here to the Temple of Droplets. In this episode, we're going to continue through the Temple of Droplets. Alright, so let's just come down the stairway. And. Oh, I, I just remembered. There's a puzzle in here that I hate. Hey, the sunlight is shining through. Ah, uh, so nice and warm. I can feel myself starting to defrost again. Shut up, Bezlo. Don't steal my joke. Uh, now, this puzzle right here, <clears throat> it looks like something is frozen inside this block of ice. Jet, why don't you take a look at it? Or, take a look, whatever. Yeah, this isn't that hard. All you gotta do is just push, push. Uh, I don't think it'll work that way, but not as fast, at least. But there's a later on puzzle that's really annoying. I may actually have to like look up a guy for it later, like when I'm done recording or something. We we'll just open a door and go through. So, um. Believe it or not, we are kind of close to finishing the game. Oh, here, I didn't think it was so soon. Oh, uh, crap. Let me try figuring out that I'm going to pause the video and go look up a guy about I think you push it this way and this way. I think you push it this way, this way, this way. Ah, uh, I love the game mechanics. How they actually made it where it's like real eyes. Um, I think you push it down now. Over. Uh, this way. Oh wow, I actually got it. Oh, I was, I was lucky. Now let's just close it. By the way, that was the bomb big key. Anyways. Yeah. So what we're going to do next is head to the next part of the dungeon. This one, this dungeon right here, and the next one, they actually do some pretty unique things with the boss. And not the actual boss, but look. There's still some more dungeon left. Hey! Well done, Jet. It looks like the... It looks to be the element, alright? But what do we do? We can't even touch it while it's trapped in that ice. We'll need to melt it off somehow. We just cut it. Aww. So, if you notice, there's a frozen ox rock here, but I'm sure that has nothing to do with anything. No, everyone knows ox rocks have nothing to do with anything. That's sarcasm, by the way. Now, if we come down here, there's the dungeon map. Yes, we know how dungeon maps work. By the way, hit A to go faster, hit B to do that, and I didn't explain that like a video or two ago. My bad. Anyways, die slug. What we want to do is not go that way. Kind of circle around. Uh. Get the gust jar out. We now like this part. Oh, sploosh! What's this thing that say? The 
way forward is hidden in the bottom of the pot. Oh. Okay, just dive. I shouldn't remember that. Now we just backtrack. That's why right, you better bow down to me. I will cut you. No, I'm kidding. I hate people who say I will cut you. So retarded. But whatever. This is not a rant video. This is a let's play video. So yeah. If I sound kind of tired it's because of, I am a little bit. I recorded a few episodes there. Uh, you die. And someone's gonna Skype. I'm sure you love hearing that every video. Someone's on Skype. Someone's on Skype. But yeah, you can use the guest jar to bring the leaf forward. We. I don't really need to explain what to do here. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. And if you don't know how to do this, then you're just an idiot. No offense to those idiots out there. But whatever. Um. Yeah, let's get the gush jar. Just kind of do this. I am no real help at all. Hopefully, next episode will be helpful. We. Ow. Oh. We so pretty much just do that. I'm not gonna admit my um first playthrough. No, I don't want to get stuck right here. My first playthrough, this dungeon took me like little no time. I mean, I, lo I love this dungeon. The boss sucks, but it's a pretty fun dungeon. You don't usually hear that about water temples, but the Twilight Princess one, Twilight Princess, wow. Um, War Temple. I actually like it. It's pretty cool how they did it. I hate Midoriya's mask. War Temple. And since it's no surprise, I'm going to do a let's play of that game. And I should probably be like in love with the War Temple or something. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Ah. What goes revenge? Kidding me? I mean, I like the how the game developers did this, but God, they made the eyes so anymore. Well, they try and go for realism or something, but it's pretty realistic. I like it. And there we get the compass. I thought we got the dungeon island for a second. No, we're not gonna get that for a little bit. So yeah, um, what do I want to talk about? I want to kind of stray away from water temples. Real quick, while I have that idea out there, I'm sure someone's going to be like, yeah, just shut up, but I like how Wind Waker doesn't have any water temples whatsoever. That's like the first Zelda game to not have a single water temple. And you can't consider the Forsaken Fortress or anything as the water temple. It's new. That's in the end. There's some water in it, but a lot of temples have water in it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. Um, what do we do here? I don't think I have a single fairy. Ah. Wee. Ow. Douche. There we go. What's up here? Uh, poo bomber. Rupees. Worth it. Ah. Uh. 
I'm Shadow Link, not Mario Link. Now, what do I do here? I think I have a pretty good idea. Um, push this down. Ah, push. Ah, push this one over there. Push this one up. Push this one over. And push that one up. There we go. That works. Wow, I I forgot about those puzzles and got them done in like 30 seconds. I'm doing pretty good. And I'm going on in this let's play based off memory. I don't have an item. I gotta say that's pretty good for going off memory. I have the best memory in the world if I can remember all that. Uh which doesn't explain why my grades are so low. Some of my grades are that low anyways. Uh give me my pot. You don't use my pots against me. Douches. By the way, when Asel said like in a previous episode that he was gonna turn to a have sickle, you I Pretty sure you have infinite amount of time. Like, I don't think they're going to give you a time limit. Otherwise, it'd be kind of mean. Jet, where are you? Are you still there underneath me? Or under me? It's so dark, I can't see my beacon from my face. Watch your step. I don't want you to trip over anything. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Dang it, I slow. Make me go trip on this stuff. Heart. Are you douche? Where's the heart piece? So let's see. Um, oh, we get a dungeon item. Now, dungeon item is actually kind of one that's like WTF. I did all that work just for this. But trust me, it's a pretty good idea. Now if I can just live... If I can live long enough to show you. Ah! Oh. That works. Oh, I thought we were getting the dungeon item. Rip me off. Let's just push that. And there we go, there's sunlight. Psst. And we just pass leaf time. Of course, sunlight. Once we get the sunlight in to melt the ice, that element will be as good as ours. Do some healing. And I think that'll be enough for this episode. So next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Menace Cap, we will continue to go through the Temple of Droplets. So see you all next time.